Hello and welcome to Joe's Crafty Cauldron, my channel for crafting and Harry Potter. Today's video is the unboxing of the September Gobstone Alley box. Um, this is slightly delayed purely because it arrived a little bit late because I know they've been having issues as I've said in previous videos but also because I've been sat on it for a little bit of time um, and I just haven't got around to filming it. So this is me now filming it. <laughs> so let's see what we have in here. So normal box, so let's see if I can break in. So when you sign up for these, you pick your t-shirt size and you pick your house color. So I am a Ravenclaw, so I always get blue paper in my boxes so the first thing we have is a t-shirt you will pretty much always get a t-shirt so it's a black t-shirt today and it says if in doubt or when in doubt go to the library and it's got Hermione Granger down written down the bottom that's quite a nice t-shirt actually I will probably wear that one and that is rare for me to say that so that is a really good start I'm liking that t-shirt I'm trying to work out where I can put everything nope if I put it there it's just gonna fall off <laughs> trying to retrieve that Ugh. right somewhere more substantial I need to put this there we go that'll do so got a little we've got lots of sort of brown paper to keep everything padded in um, but tucked in the top of it we have a little jar that says powdered horn of bicorn which is really cute I do love these little potion ingredient bottles they are so cute and I love them I'm getting a really nice collection of those right so I'm gonna try and take some of this out because it's filling the box quite a bit so we have wrapped in some brown paper wrapping we have da, 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 wrapped quite thoroughly maybe some sort of test tube so it might be another ingredient so we've got lavender picked at Beaubaton 12th of September 1994 so I think 1994 was the year um, that it was the Goblet of Fire so that's the relevance of that so it's just a random tube of lavender which is quite cute roll that back up again so it's protected so we've got two sort of well not really potion ingredients but that sort of thing there's so much paper um, then the next thing we have so in here there are two of these which are both candles um, as I've said on previous videos I order I've been ordering back ordering when I order each box I order another candle that I've not got from their collection so one of these is gonna be a surprise okay this is the surprise one so this is the one you actually get in the subscription box so it's an incendio candle um, which is their own brand of candles that doesn't seem to look very clear but it may be just the uh, font and this is a seven ounce candle yeah seven ounce 100 percent vegan candle handmade and it's common room on there don't know what the smell is meant to be but let's open it up and see what's in there it's like a layered candle so it's got this white sort of creamy well whitey cream off-white color then it's got a lighter sort of beige and then a darker sort of caramelly color in there I can smell sort of a caramel sort of smell so that is probably what it's going to be like popcorn actually that's what I'm trying to think buttered popcorn okay move out some more paper 
there's just paper everywhere now. Um, so then this other one is going to be the candle that won't come in this, won't have come in this box, um, because this is one I've ordered separately, which is a back, back purchase, um, and so I will show you it anyway. But that's what they do, I think, is if you order other stuff at the same time as your box, they will pack it in with your box. So again, it's an incendio candle, seven ounce, um, and it is Niffler. So it's got your little Niffler on there, and so it's a black candle. I'm not sure what that smell is. And it's got in it sort of chunks of gold in the top there. So that's my extra candle. Um, so you can find all of their candles on their website. Um, however, most of those ones that come in the boxes aren't on their website, so you can't buy them um, yet. It may be that they will come up eventually, because I think these can the candles that I'm ordering separately, I think they have been in one of the subscription boxes before I started subscribing. So it's likely that they will one day come up on the website. So then we have a coaster, covered in paper dust, <laughs> um, that says Expecto Patronum. And so you get a stag or, yeah. And then on that angle, it says Expecto Patronum. So you get, there we go. So it changes. And then we have a key ring that says he who must not be named so I think that's a licensed product we then have a magnet that says Hogwarts Potion Master so that's obviously Snape we then have a bag of jelly slugs a mug which is, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good on the reverse. And then it's got the Marauders map on the front. I have a lot of Marauders map mugs, I have to say. <laughs> we then have, you always get a tea sachet, which is uh, sort of their, again, their own brand, which is the Cozy Elves Magical Drinks and Sweets. And this one is Aunt Petunia's Raspberry Tea. Oh, I do like raspberry. So there, I'm not going to read out the ingredients because I usually butcher them. Let's open it up, see what it says. They are resealable, so me opening it doesn't really matter. Mm. I may read the ingredients because there is a smell that's coming through there. Oh, it might be lilacs or raisins. Mm. So there, then we have, it's all covered in paper dust, so everything feels horrible. <laughs> so then we have Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry Potions Class Syllabus. So there we go. So it's got sort of the image similar to that of the one that appears on one of the textbooks. Um, so... We've got an introduction, we've got required materials, we've then got daily work and homework and how much credit you get for each of the items. Um, I can tell that this is made by um, a US producer because um, it's they've got midterm exam and that's not a UK term that I am aware of. So this has been created by, I'm assuming, a US maker and then we've got class participation and we've got the grading system at the back so that's quite cool it's just a bit of a unique sort of replica that you might have had if you went to hogwarts then <laughs> we have an just a brown envelope let's see what is inside here so it's a permission form to visit Hogsmeade is there is it just one sheet oh it's just I think it's just very thick paper I thought it was two 
but no it's just thick paper so it says permission for visit to Hogsmeade 4 and you enter the name in there this document hereby serves to state the aforementioned third year student of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry permitted to visit the village of Hogsmeade at such time that the school arranges and with the signature of the undersigned parent or guardian. The student shall abide by all such rules and regulations relevant to such expeditions and set by the school as per Article 528Z Z of the 1714 Edict. Print name relation signature. That's quite a cute little thing. So you can put your own name in there and you can go to Hogsmeade. I do like these sort of niche little things that you get in here. So let's read the piece of paper that comes with it. So flying past September 2018. So this is a good way to check you've got everything in the box and you didn't lose anything in the paper. T-shirt, licensed mug, Licensed lenticular coaster with Patronus, he who must not be named licensed keyring, vial with powdered bicorn horn, vial with French lavender. Oh, so this is very much a sort of potions themed one. So it says vial with powdered bicorn horn, you'll need it for your polyjuice potion. And then you've got the vial with French lavender, it's needed for sleeping draught and fire breathing potion. Potions master magnet, cozy elves tea, potions class syllabus designed by Muggle, Muggle Magic DIY. So that's the person who's made the syllabus and I do actually follow them on Instagram. Um, permission form visiting Hogsmeade, common room incendio candle smells like, oh that's it, coffee with steamed milk. I don't really like coffee so that'll probably be one of the last candles that I burn. And then it says Bertie Potts every flavour beans but I got jelly slugs which is fine because in fairness I think I'd rather have the jelly slugs <laughs> so what is my favorite thing out of this box mm, I think it's got to be the two potions ingredients just because I do like sort of the uniqueness of those I'm trying to load it all up again but it's not fitting even though it's got 100% less paper in it where the t-shirt's going to be although I do quite like the t-shirt so that is the September flying parcel um, please do feel free to hit the like button um, and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos because there are going to be more coming because I'm filming a whole batch of them today <laughs> Um, so that is all from me please as I said do hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next unboxing thanks very much bye